behavior very uh what to say these are the things these are familiar things right update due date i said you guys due date can be updated through the code due date can be modified from the inspector yesterday we saw again due date can also be modified from the rest api yeah so modifying a due date through the rest api is something we never do i mean something we do at the end if i don't have anything if i don't have inspected access and anything then only we can come to the rest api and we can update the due date so here you have to put the instance id and just need to put the due date so there is a specific format of this due date which you can see year then months and then you have the day so it's a specific format iso 8601 format which needs to be followed and in this format you can update the due date for any instance okay ideally we don't uh, never people will never say you or anyone will never say you that update the due date but in case if you have to then always go for your inspector process inspector and then if you don't if you are not able to uh, change the due date from there then you can come down here to the rest api and from here you can update the new due date okay simple things uh, whatever we have done till now through the other consoles the same thing can be done from here yes there are a lot of features are also there which are not there available in any of the consoles which are available only in the rest api we are discussing them also today so update due date is one evaluate javascript so for example i have an instance id but i want to implement some javascript expression uh, say for example i want to implement some kind of code on top of an instance that i can put over here if you ask me have you ever done this thing i will tell you no i have never done honestly this kind of scenarios have never come to me till now evaluating some javascript expression so i'm not really sure what exactly i need to put over here and execute these things will not come uh, you will never come across for even for any cleanup activity also okay but yes just understand what exactly these things do you can evaluate a javascript over here i can put a javascript expression say for example i want to get the subject of uh, of a specific task or for example i want to uh, say say i want to execute something which will give me how many tasks have been completed till now and how many are active that can be done using some javascript expression that javascript expression i can put it over here and i can if i execute then it will give me that result set okay something like that can be done over here update due date we know suspend process it is nothing but the way we suspend an instance we can suspend it through the inspector we have seen right i believe we have seen it already uh, just a moment just a moment process admin console so here we have the option suspend right the same thing we are doing it from the rest api so 256 is the instance say i want to suspend this instance i can come back to the rest api 256 and if i click on execute call then you see what i get first always check the response at the top it says status 200 okay which means then we can go down and we can see what exactly has happened you see what has happened the state has been changed to suspended now if i go back to my inspector if i refresh this i don't see it as an as an active right it says suspended right 256 is now suspended okay so simple things these things can be done or should be done from the inspector only if your inspector if you don't have an access then only you come here and you can use this techniques resume process whatever has been suspended if you want to resume it once again then you can again uh, resume this process you can just need to put the instance id again 256 if i click on execute call i got 200 okay 
which means uh, once again, this instance we should be active. I go back to my inspector. I click on refresh. Now I don't see anything in suspended. I should be seeing it instead active. Yes, 256 is once again active. Retry process. Yesterday, guys, I said you that uh, through the inspector, if I'm not able to retry, then uh, can I retry it from some other console? The answer is yes. Through the REST API, I can definitely retry an instance. You just need to put the instance ID over here and execute call automatically whatever we did in the inspector same thing will be done here the failed instance will once again be retried and the status will be changed from failed to active even if it doesn't work even if this retry also doesn't work there is still one more option and it is available only in the rest api we will be discussing that okay so like this there are other things so not everything we follow we have terminate process you can terminate some instance from here you just put the instance id you can delete an instance from here right a lot of other things are also there say for example this is a bulk operation okay process bulk operation now i have set 10 instances now at a time in one call i want to suspend all the 10 instances you just need to put the instance ID in comma separated format. Here you have the action called suspend. Then you can click on execute. All those 10 instances will be suspended at one go. There are other actions also guys. Resume, retry. It's a good thing. Say there are 15 instances which has failed. I as a developer, I have fixed the issue. I have deployed this to say QA environment. Now I want to retry all those 10 instances at one go, right? It becomes easier for me as a developer, right? I can just put those instance IDs over here in a comma separated way, and I can execute the call. Automatically, those 10 instances will be retried. This guy, these features are not there in the inspector. That's the reason we use uh, REST API in case if there are multiple failures, multiple instances have failed. I want to retry them at one go then definitely I have to use the REST API, okay? Instance error details, I want to get the error details of an instance or multiple instances, then definitely I can use this a run ad hoc event. If I want to uh, say there is a specific activity and that activity I want to trigger once again in the process, I can use this run ad hoc event. Delete token. Whatever token is active right now, I want to delete that token. We don't generally do this, to be very honest, delete token. But in case if you have to delete a token, then definitely you can use this delete token technique from here and you can delete some token. Simple, you just need to put the instance ID and the token ID. How do we get the token ID? We have the current state, guys. Remember, from the current state, we get the token ID and that token ID, you can put it over here. You can put the instance ID also and accordingly you can use it.